guys, this is Greg Roth here with DT Power Sports and Ranger Boats. Love to introduce the new RT-178 all aluminum welded hull by Ranger. Um, Ranger's been in the aluminum business before. Um, we have reintroduced this boat, uh, built by Ranger, for Ranger customers with the same Ranger uh, qual you know, quality control and uh, fit and finish as we're known for our glass boats. Uh, I ran a particular boat very similar to this last year and was able to get in places other guys couldn't get. We've got, uh, unlike other aluminum boats, we have a recessed foot pedal. And as you can see, the quality of the welds in the Ranger, just, you can see that it's made, made in, in the States or at a, our own plant, um, all hand welded. There's no robots doing the welding. Uh, so the quality control is there. Uh, you can really see the craftsmanship that goes into it. Everything's all finished off with a high quality paint. Uh, it is available in four different colors, a red, metallic, a gray, and a silver. Um, it's got skid plate package here. Uh, you've got your controls up here for your trolling motor and uh, or your, your main engine. Uh, coming back into here, you've got a cavernous rod lock over there that can hold eight foot rods. The tubes are finished off, so there'll be no rod tip damage going into the front of the boat. As you can see here, tons of space, tons of tackle storage space. Again, quality weld supports uh, the boat if you can get in it. Uh, you just you feel the quality of that one piece Ranger feel. Uh, this particular cooler area can be opted out. They can hold the 37 Plano 3700s to be swapped up. However you wish to configure this boat as far as the compartments go, you can do that. Little things like uh, the trays for the your scissors and and, uh, and pliers are, are all thought out. As you can see, the layout is just incredible. A cooler area. Going back into this, the console area, the seating console, it's one of the only aluminum boats out there on the market that has a fiberglass, fully finished off fiberglass console. Uh, again, Ranger quality, you can see just sitting behind the wheel here. Uh, quality of mar marine upholstery that we make at the plant, so that we sew ourselves at Ranger with tons of storage space underneath. It's a 60-40 split uh, folding seat base that can seat three across. Uh, Underneath here, you know, you tend to get a lot of uh, moisture and rain that comes down in between the seats. No carpet. It'll just drain right out so there's no, no mold or mildew that will accumulate after a day's fishing when you bring it back home and put it in the garage. Here we've got a large, large live well. Split, as you can see, we can, you know, can put two, two uh, limits in there or pull it out for pike or walleye events. Uh, neat deal, again, all aluminum lids. When you close the lids, you can just feel them suck down just again like a glass boat. Uh, the fit and finish is just incredible. Uh, you can actually feel them come together as one. Going back into the main compartment here, you might be able to see the welds and the structural integrity. Huge gas tank, cavernous gas tank, but the welds and the superstructure that runs the length of the boat, which you can't see, is all welded and foam filled. Uh, again, cross braces will support side to side any, any bending that way. So we've got room for one more battery. This standard package comes with a 12 volt trolling motor, uh, two bank charger, but cannot be upgraded to a 70 extra battery. One of the, one of the main features that uh, Ranger has incorporated from their glass line into the aluminum line is a product called Pultrusion. It's uh, exclusive to Ranger, it's built at the plant. It's done by pulling multiple layers of fiberglass through a heated die. Uh, this particular little uh, sample section uh, comes out from the transom. Ranger is one of the only, the only aluminum company that incorporates that fiberglass into the aluminum transom for rigidity and strength. You gotta remember when you're bolting a a big piece of heavy machinery like this engine on here, this four-stroke Mercury, uh, it, it takes a lot of support, and this pultrusion holds up. It's got great screw retention as well, uh, but uh, it, it adds a ton of rigidity to that transom, and it's sandwiched back in there behind the aluminum. As you can see, it's, it's right in there, and that's exclusive to Ranger. It's unbelievably priced at $18.9 for the show here, so it's uh, with a four-stroke 60 Merc, Plenty of power for this particular package. It's a 17 and a half foot uh, rig. Uh, we have an 18 foot rig that's rated up to 115. 
It'll be in the low to mid 20s uh, that way. Um, that's not the only thing. The, the, what's, what this hull is sitting on is, is, is made by Rangers Well, and that's a trailer. Road armor coating on the trailer, upgraded rims, swing away tongue, makes this an unbelievable package. I think uh, anybody that's looking for a, an entry level or a good aluminum boat should come and take a look at it because I think it's going to be a winner.